up guys, it's in Jesus and welcome to a brand new video by today. I'm going to be going through r slash today I fucked up, which basically shows the biggest fuck ups that have occurred and are actually worth reading on Reddit. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe on this. Then let's get into the fuck ups. Let's go top of this month because I want to see some festive fuck ups. I've already apparently read this, so... And let's read it again anyway. Today I fucked up by sending a consenting girl to you. Today I fucked up by hitting up someone on Sam. We hit her up for a bit and like adults we were both horny so she suggested that we send you. I was okay with it and after I sent them she started to blackmail me. In- incredible. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Saying she wanted $200 for her to delete them. I've already reported her this several times and asked why but she just came off as rude. I've tried several tactics to deter them from stopping and posting them online and making my friends and family see them and ruin my life. But I don't know what to do at this point and I think she might actually do that. Does anyone have any advice to give me? I'm currently trying to get her to delete the video and pics with reasoning and some lies and change the price of it lowering it but she still won't delete them and threatening to post them to ruin my life. Anyone has any solutions please help me. TLDR I got last one year then is now back and you need to post them all over social media. <sighs> the first comment is she won't post them. Okay. It's a waste of time for her to do that since she could spend the time looking for another mark that is willing for, to pay. It would actually be illegal for her to do that but nothing would probably come from it if you repeat, reported her to the police since she probably isn't even from the same country. Even if she does spread them, your life won't be ruined. It is it is just new who really gives a shit. You get a story about betrayal and scam to tell the others. Never give in to scammers like that. If you pay once, they see that as any to demand even more from you. Don't use your real name on social media unless you intend to keep it fully private and only close to friends and family. Yep. That is just a pretty easy taste one to start with. Okay. The next post, which I haven't actually read. Today I fucked up by accidentally texting my tattoo artist about the terrible tattoo he gave me. <laughs> well, I, why would you tell that to the artist? Anyway, so I've got a tattoo today. I've got five others from this artist and they're gorgeous. I've always loved them. However, today the printer was broken, meaning they couldn't stencil me. Well, the tattoo turned out looking like shit. Absolutely terrible. I cried when I saw it. Surely, I mean, I'm gonna say it's an exaggeration, but it is probably on your skin forever. So, it's probably fair enough. In a panic, I frantically called another tattoo parlor, then called them asking for a cover-up. I've never been to this parlor before, I was having a panic attack. Well, turns out my parlor goes by a different name too. I accidentally called my tattoo artist freaking out about the terrible tattoo he gave me. He just responded saying, you know this is me, right? Guess I gotta find a new artist. Yay, I'm terrible, terribly embarrassed. Explains why the guy on the phone froze when I said my name and then he saw mumbled. Okay, I accidentally texted my tattoo artist about how shitty his work was while trying to get it covered up by a different artist. He said he could free and draw it on me. It looked great when he did, but when it came out, it looked like that. Okay, a few updates from that. I called the parlor this morning. He said he would see what he could do about covering it up for free and he'd get back to me when he was in the shop. It's early in the morning, so I'm waiting for today. Hopefully that's good, etc. Basically, he's getting the, the cover up for free. So, at least it's a happy ending. That was a pretty tame story to do. All it ended up doing was the guy fucked up a tattoo, he called him, or she called him again by mistake, and he had to cover it up for free. That's it. Really, nothing. <laughs> Those are the two top posts of this month. I just better get better. Today, I fucked up by drinking a Pepsi. My wife and I welcomed our two boys into the world about six weeks ago. We are still in that lovely phase of life wherein we don't have a sleep schedule so much as we are microdosing sleep. So yesterday night we were up at 4am feeding our boys. My wife handled the first twin and I had the second. Well, twin number one, T1 in this case, finished his meal first and my wife moved him over to a rocking chair where she gently rocked him back to sleep. It took about 20 minutes with him fighting sleep but she got it. She gently set him down in his bassinet and went back to sleep herself. Meanwhile, T2 was wrapping up with his meal too. I got him up, burped him and took him over to the rocking chair to rock him to sleep too. He was drifting off nicely. 
To avoid falling asleep myself, I was getting a needed hit of caffeine from a can of Pepsi. I took a medium-sized sip and set the can down. Not 30 to seconds later, I too felt the need to burp. No biggie, I'll just let off a silent burp, right? Nope. Between the empty stomach, the fizzy drink rocking, and the 8-pound baby on top of my belly, I let off the longest, loudest belch I've ever made unintentionally. The sonic bend. I really spooked T2 which woke him up and got him screaming. That screaming woke up the wife and T1. Well said, that spooked the cats and they started charging around the house meowing like a lazy. Took another two hours for everyone to come back. That's fancy. I swear these used to be a lot like more dramatic than like for fact like the most dramatic one was a tattoo cover up that she ended up getting for free. And the other one was literally just body the door fall for scammers. See the fall now. Anyway, today I fucked up by exposing a topless fit to my students. So I 22 years. I'm a teacher at a private school around here. Yesterday I was having an online meeting course with some students. There were like five or six students and they are not even five students. So lately making sure to get use each other the word students. I only teach them at weekend to help them practice a little more. I was trying to explain to them what foreground and background are. Well, I when there were so many pictures on the internet and I could show them one from there and explain, decided to do the not so logical one. Sitting on my chair in front of my laptop, decided to take a photo with my phone holding a bottle in front of my wardrobe to give them the idea that the bottle would be in the foreground and the wardrobe in the background. Took the photo, got into my gallery and turned my phone to the laptop camera so that they could see the picture and I could explain them in detail. Damn me, I accidentally did slide the photo and the previous photo was me from top to waist Half naked with a boxer and nothing on top. They thought for like a solid two seconds when I quickly took my phone away and tried to continue the lesson as if nothing happened. Never mentioned the picture again during the 30 minutes after this accident happened. I got a couple of students to even though. Now it was Saturday when this happened and tomorrow I have to go to school and look at those students' faces after what happened. I don't know if I'll be the topic of school by gossip or I'll have to face the principal about what happened. I don't know if it could affect my relationship with my students and parents or I would not be taken seriously anymore and be mocked because of this. Any advice is highly appreciated. Well, it's socially acceptable for a guy to be topless, etc. etc. This summer has gone down there. I don't know.